Average Joe Explorations here, and today I'm taking you to the Battery Point Lighthouse here in Crescent City, California. This old lighthouse was built in 1856, and it still operates as a lighthouse to this day. If you look closely, you can actually see people up in the lookout right there. And to this day, it's open for tours. Take you through the old house part of the lighthouse where the lightkeeper lived, and then they'll take you up into this tower where the actual lights are located. You can have the original light bulb in there. Um, that served the lighthouse. Over time, new buildings and improvements were made to the property from 1856 on. For example, this fuel house was built in the 1880s after they made the switch from using whale oil uh, to kerosene oil in the light. The fuel house has 13 inch thick stone walls because kerosene is obviously explosive, so they have to protect it. Nowadays, the lighthouse keeper that lives here today uses this for uh, firewood storage for the winter. The boathouse right here uh, was where one of the lighthouse keepers used to keep a boat. Uh, he and his family lived here, and obviously there are no amenities, there's no school up here, so he would actually take his school children on that boat over to the main shore in Crescent City and take them to school. Today this building right here is used as a workshop um, to store tools and supplies to keep the lighthouse up and running. Ocean water isn't great for culinary uses, and although there is plenty of that, here around Battery Point. This was the foundation of the lighthouse's water tower. This is where they would store all the culinary water for their drinking, their cooking, and their toiletry purposes. Now I do highly recommend the tour of this place, but do keep in mind that it is only accessible by foot during low tide. There's a path that goes right up to it. During high tide, that path is covered with water. So obviously this place is closed during high tide. But it is one of the most easily accessible lighthouses on the California coast. And so it's definitely worth a visit. Till next time, fellow explorers.